Hey guys, it's Orange Titan back again with another top 10 action figures. Uh, this time is my top 10 action figures of all time. Uh, this is probably the hardest list I did because I had to go through um, all my figures and see which were my favorite figures of all time. Um, pretty hard because way different, a lot of different toy lines, a lot of different figures I've collected over the years. Uh, I kind of went with in my opinion, if there was like a fire or, you know, sentimental or nostalgic or whatever, play feature, price, maybe price, I don't know. These are basically the 10 figures, in my opinion, that like, I will always keep. Now, this list could always change. Uh, there's always new figures coming out and there's always figures that I want to get that I haven't got. And yeah, these are the figures basically when I picked them up, I couldn't stop... Uh, you know, I couldn't put them down. I kept playing with them. Or they have, like, a super meaning to, to me when I got them. So, yeah. Um, to let you guys know, I'm not going to add any Marvel Legends. And I'm not going to add any DC Multiverse. Just because I've already done lists. Same thing with Black Series. I've already done lists about those. And those are my favorite. And honestly, if I did, if I added um, Marvel Legends into this list, I'd probably have more Marvel Legends at that point. So, I thought that's its own list so i'm not gonna have any i'm not gonna have any of those now gi joe or other hasbro companies might be in this but like no marvel legends no dc multiverse no black series but yeah anyways let's get into this top 10 so at number 10 we have the sh figure arts mandalorian din Djarin. now this is the first release of the SH Figure Arts, uh, not, not the first release of the Mandalorian, because they did the brown suit, but this is the first release of the Beskar armor with the Black Series, um, you know, Darksaber. Now, out of all, uh, out of all my Star Wars figures, this is my favorite figure of all time. Uh, I know the new Black Series one that just came out is really nice. Uh, I did not pick, I passed on that one. Uh, I do have the original Black Series, which was okay. I even had the Mafex of this guy, and I thought the Mafex was really good. But you know what? Time and time, I kept going back to this guy. And in my Star Wars uh, shelf, this is my main one. To all the accessories, to the cloth goods, to everything. The only thing this guy didn't come with was the Darksaber. I know the second version of this character did. But yeah, no, I like this figure a lot. This is the one I had f uh, a lot of fun with. And honestly, I had a different SH figure arts on this list. Uh, what This guy beat it out. Um, originally, it was, you know, the SH figure arts, uh, Darth Vader. But I, I had some issues with that figure with the hands and the lightsaber always popping off. And I just never like touching it. And if I don't like touching the figure as much... I might like the figure, but if I don't like touching it, then it shouldn't be on the top 10. This guy, I'm always picking up this guy. I'm always taking this guy out. I'm always having a fun time. I know initially a lot of people had problems with the head. Either the head was too small, they said, or the head didn't fit on. And then they would buy little, I saw people would, you know, buy little um, pegs because the head would, you know, they say it should be up here. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Like I said, I love the accessories. Love everything about this figure. This figure is so fun. Honestly, one of my favorite SH figure arts I own. Uh, and yeah, I don't need another Mandalorian. Uh, this this is the one for me, honestly. But he's at number 10. So SH figure arts, Din Djarin, Mandalorian. At number 9, we have the SH figure arts, No Way Home. Friendly Neighborhooded Spider-Man. It's Tobey Maguire. This is honestly one of my favorite Spider-Man figures in my collection. And honestly, uh, this is my favorite Tobey Maguire figure. Uh, I've always wanted a really good Tobey Maguire. I grew up with Tobey Maguire. Uh, he is my favorite Spider-Man. This is my favorite look, favorite suit, all that jazz. So once um, the Marvel Legends were good, but once SH Figure Arts did this figure, I knew I needed to have it. Now I'm not saying this figure is perfect. My only thing that uh, that bothers me about this figure, that's why he's lower on the list, 
is these little butt things. They're supposed to be on this side, but even though if I keep going like that, it always, you know, happens to fall this way. But besides that, it's a really good figure. Every time I see this figure, I always think of Spider-Man 2, realistically. Um, it's just such a good figure, and I, I love posing this guy. Now I know Mafex is doing one, and we'll have to see if Mafex takes it. They probably will. We don't know. But right now, I've always wanted a good uh, Tobey Maguire. Toby Maguire. Like I said, the Hasbro ones were nice. I have the old Toy Biz ones, but honestly, to do all the posing and all the accessories and that the coloring on this, I love the coloring. I feel like the biggest problem with the Marvel Legends one is it was too bright. I just feel like this is like those muted colors. It's just really nice and it's a really good figure and I really like this one a lot. One of my favorite... Like I said, one of my favorite Spider-Man figures of all time. I do think this should be on the list. And yeah, at number 9, SH Figure Arts, Tobey Maguire. At number 8, we have the Mayfex Gambit. This is honestly one of the best uh, Mayfexes that they've done, comic-wise. This is my favorite Gambit. This figure is so nice. So, like, best Gambit figure they've ever made. And I got so lucky with this guy. Um... I missed out on the initial release of this guy, and he got really expensive, and I was a little bummed out. And then uh, I got lucky, Bit Bad Toy Store did a second uh, reissue, and I was able to scoop that up and get it. This guy has some of the best accessories for Gambit. The jacket is one of the best jackets that they've done. Like, really good, like with the wires and stuff. The face is good. Everything's good. You can even take off the jacket if you want that look. Honestly, this is... And then, you know, with the Mafex, you know what you're getting in with the Mafex. The articulation alone is great. And then, like, you know, this guy just takes really, really... He looks really good. Can really take some really good photos. And, yeah, I just... And the pink and the purple and the silver. I... This this is the best Gambit they've ever done, in my opinion. Even the faces are amazing. Um, when I see this Gambit, I always think of Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, this is my Marvel vs. Capcom Gambit. This guy is just phenomenal, uh, if I said that correctly. It's just, it's just a perfect figure. Really happy to have this. But there are a couple more figures that I like a little bit more. So that's why this guy is at number eight. At number seven, we have the Mezco Christopher Reeves Superman. Now this is my favorite Superman in my collection. Favorite live action Superman too. I like this guy a lot. Now, I like the movies. And, you know, I like the movies for what it is. They, uh, the first one's good. Second one's good. Third and fourth are kind of okay, but overall, this is a great figure. Now, when Mezco was doing this figure, they had the option at the time where they had the Michael Keaton Batman, and this one you could pre-order. And usually, and Michael Keaton's my favorite Batman. And you would think I'd go with that one, but no, I, I skipped that one to get this one. Like, this is the figure I wanted. This is the most perfect Superman and like, toy scale. And I think it's the best uh, likeness slash best figure for Christopher Reeves. I know there's the NECA one. And I, th I think it's just the NECA one. And then I think the Hot Toys. Hot Toys is amazing. Of course, that's going to win. But for like this scale, this, this guy's perfect. One, he comes with a wired cape, which is super awesome. He comes with good faces, which, like I said, I think really captures him. The costume's well done. Um... Articulation alone for a guy in spandex. Amazing. Comes with uh, more accessories. Like I said. Uh, comes with the uh, the base where you can put the crystal in. Because I have the hand where he puts the crystal in. And then it lights up. This And it came in a tin can. Like what can you say? This has been one of, the, one of my favorite Mezcos uh, I've always had. It. I won't give this one up. I just won't. This this guy is just amazing, and he's fun to pose, and you know, 
I just, I like this guy, like, and I like Superman a lot, so this is my favorite Superman figure out of my whole collection. Um, yeah, this is my favorite one out of all my Supermans. This guy's really nice. He's really cool. But, yeah, at number seven, uh, Christopher Reeves, Mezco Superman. At number six, Mezco, Captain America. Now, it's another Mezco that I really like. And this is one of those Mezcos I wanted to get for a long time. Uh, I know some people have some gripes about this guy. I know people don't like the coloring because it's more like a teal blue than a natural blue. And then I know with the scales right here, over time they start peeling. I've never had that issue with this guy. Uh, this is one of those figures I always wanted in my collection. I, I wanted this version of Captain America and I thought this Mezco one was awesome when i finally got my hands on this guy on the secondary market and i got him for a good price i was really happy i think i i think i got this guy for like 130 at frankenstein's like years ago and it was just one of those figures where like it was just one of those figures funny because like we found i finally found it for a good price and I was like, oh, I'm going to skip on it. But then my wife was all like, no, like you, my wife was like, oh, you've been talking about that Mezco, you know, the Mezco uh, Captain America for a long time and you want to get it. Like it's, this is the time. Let's, let's get it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I got it. Uh, favorite things. One, I like the suit. I like how it's a, you know, it's a take of Mezco's tape. It's, it's classic, but it's like that modern look kind of gives me like that world war ii look plus like ultimates look which i really like love the shield the shield's one of my favorite things ever that they've done honestly it's a nice shield got a magnet could throw that puppy right there and that's just so cool it just goes right there and then on either hand you just right there you know this guy was just so fun to pose with and just really amazing now i know the comic-con one i think it was a comic-con one it was like a deep blue that one's nice too but out of the two i wanted this one i thought this one was better in my opinion i thought this one looked more fun and yeah the posing the dynamics and i'm a big fan of captain america i've, I've always been a big fan of captain america and I think this guy is really neat. Now, the new one that's coming out, uh, I'm probably going to get that one, honestly. And then we're going to compare the two and see which one I like more. But overall, I do like this Captain America. I think this one's really nice. And yeah, there's really nothing much more to say. Uh, this one's one of my favorites. Another great Mezco, in my opinion. One of the Mezcos I just I won't sell. But at number six, Mezco Captain America. We are at the top five. So at number five, we have the Mayfex Classic Iron Man. <sighs> this is my favorite Mayfex. Uh, May uh, out of all the Mayfexes that they've done, this one's my favorite. And this is, yeah. Uh, this guy surprised me. At first, I wasn't going to get him. I saw him coming out. But I said, you know what, why not? I'll pick him up on eBay got him for like i think however whatever the retail price for this guy was i got it for that and oh my goodness to the accessories to the head sculpts to just the articulation so amazing this guy is so fun to pick up and pose like this is my all-time favorite iron man figure and i love that head sculpt that's why i have the head sculpt out and just the articulation i mean weird butterfly joints <laughs> it makes me think of toy biz but really good articulation, like I said. Able to do a lot. Comes with a bunch of stuff. Comes even with like unique things like rollerblades. But like honestly, a good figure for what it is. This is like one of the best uh, Mayfexes. And I'm surprised that no one really talks about this guy as much. I know some people like this guy, but he's not really up there. Like, I don't really see a lot of people go, wow, the Iron Man's so amazing and this and that. I th I think, I don't, like, like, people might disagree, but I think this is the best Mayfex that they've ever done. 
and with that new classic cap coming it's it's gonna it's gonna be awesome I, I can't wait for that i know the thor was a little too small i agree but this one this one was just a sleeper hit and i think a lot of people just didn't give it a chance and yeah honest like and, I, and you know what i'll stand by that still that i still think this is the best mafex and i think um nothing will beat this mafex for a long time but we'll have to see in time you know but yeah at number five uh the mafex iron man at number four we have this big beast this is storm collectibles bane this is one of my favorite figures i've gotten in a long time this is the Injustice version too, which either people are going to like or hate this design. I like this design. I think it's cool. I love how big he is. He is giant to a normal figure. I mean, if you pet the Green Ranger up to him, it's, it's crazy, you know? Uh, it's, it's just one of, those, one of those perfect figures, you know, when I think of Bane. Uh, great figure. Really like this one a lot. Um... I know the May, not Mayfix, but I know, well, yeah, the Mayfix one looks pretty good, but I think it's a little too small. And I know McFarlane has their new one that's coming out with the two pack, which I have that one on the way. I, I can't wait to see that one. But at the end of the day, I think this Bane's always going to be the best. And it's because it's Storm Collectibles. If you have a Storm Collectibles, you know what you're getting into. The articulation on this guy and the way you're able to pose this guy and you, and whatnot you're able to get some really good poses and the wires you know the tubes don't really get in the way and that's what i really like i remember getting this guy years 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 ago and going like yep this is this is the guy for me got this guy at frankincense i bought i, I bought a lot of stuff at frankincense i've had a lot of good memories there but yeah no this guy was always one of my favorites and i love the tubing i love the veins i love everything about this guy everything like this this guy is it's amazing and you know yeah he's not a classic look and all that stuff but this guy is like it, it's the best bane and bane's one of my favorite characters of all time so having this guy is just awesome so yeah that's that's why he's at number four he's just a really great figure and i love this guy at number three we have the devil may cry dante neca figure um this guy has more sentimental value uh the last three will be really sentimental or have a reason why they're on my top three uh they're still great figures now neca i don't really buy a lot of neca figures and i i have a few uh my one thing with NECA though is I, I always had problems where like the joints would be too tight or they snap. It's not, that's not with all their figures. That's just some of them. This guy uh, has a meaning, like a, a special meaning with me. Uh, it's one of my favorite Dante Double May Cry figures. Uh, I was going through like a really bad, like a couple, like during COVID, I was going through like a really bad um, breakup and I was going through. Uh, a lot of problems i had some issues that i was dealing with and a lot just kind of just like happened and then during covid before i met my wife and everything went amazing uh i was in a dark place at the time and um i uh i got myself into for the first time ever uh i remember going to gamestop or oh, i did online order pickup and um I don't know. I think I saw some videos about Devil May Cry. I've always known what the game. I've always heard about the game and and whatnot, but I never really tried it. So one day, I bought all the Devil May Cry games, one all the way up to five, and um, I played them, and I played them religiously. Like I played them so much that um, I fell in love with the game series, and I became a big fan of Devil May Cry and beating all of them and and like even when i beat them i replayed them like over and over and i, I don't know why i just i really loved devil may cry it was such a fun game 
And after I was done playing it, I was like, you know what? I really want an action figure from the line. So I found this guy on eBay, a little expensive. I think he's more expensive. I think I spent 50 bucks on this guy. Pretty good still. Uh, and then when he, I got him, I just, I was like, oh, I, it's one of my favorite figures of all time. So is he a fun figure? Yeah. Yeah, he's really fun, actually. And, you know, for an older NECA figure, he actually, you know, can actually move pretty well and do stuff. The only problem is he's just stuck in this pose. Like, he has this cape going this way which it's dynamic it's cool but you can only really do one pose with them i've i've seen stuff where i could buy like a uh I, uh there's this guy named gs slots shouting him out because i buy a lot of stuff from him he has a cloth good cape which i think i'm gonna buy one these days i just haven't but yeah this guy came with his pistols pistol effects his sword and his shotgun and yeah just this guy just i don't know Devil May Cry got me out of a uh, out of a dark situation, I guess, and those games were just so fun, and I had such a good time with these games. And yeah, it's it's just a good figure. It, it is it is a perfect figure in my. I honestly think this is a, a, one of the best NECA figures they've ever done. But that's that's my opinion. But also this guy, this one has a lot of meaning to it because I, I I fell in love with this game series and. I loved everything about this figure. So, at number three, uh, Double May Cry uh, NECA Ultimate. At number two, we have the Mezco. I think this is what? Mezco 20, 2016 Comic Con that year. This is the best Mezco, in my honest opinion. And uh, say what you want about the film if you don't like Batman v Superman. I actually like it. I don't mind it. Uh, you got to agree that the Batman v Superman fight in this suit is amazing. The kryptonite spear, the suit. I loved everything about the Batman v Superman fight. I thought it was neat. I thought it was cool. I liked it very much. It was just awesome. And this was a grill. This was a grill that I always wanted. This guy is expensive. Like, stupidly expensive. And I was just never going to get it at all. I always wanted this guy. And for the price, I, I saw people trying to get it for, like, people want three to four to five to six to seven. And, you know, at that time, I, I was just never going to pay it. I was never gonna pay it, and I was okay. I, I was okay with never getting this figure, but I wanted it. Like this was my grail figure. People have, you know, people have their certain types of grails, and this was one of them for me. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm blanking right now, but yeah, no, this guy is amazing. His other head uh, lights up. Articulation is pretty nice for what it is. Comes with a lot of accessories. Comes with the stand. Love the cape. Love the metal too. It's real die cast. So that it just makes it cool. And then you know, over the top. Honestly, if people want to know, this is a custom head I got made. This is a custom head. Well, I didn't get made. It was already made. I found this custom head on eBay. I bought it, and man, just look at it looks like the actor looks amazing i i am just really proud of this guy and the only reason why i got this guy which another frank and sons pickup 100 <laughs> percent the only reason why i got this guy is because um i went through a lawsuit and something happened with one of my old jobs where um i got hurt on the job i went through workman's comp and I hurt my back, like my back, I snapped my back and I had to learn how to like walk and all that crazy stuff. Uh, won't get into that because no one needs to hear that sad story or no one has time for that. Anyways, uh, I, I got hurt. I went through a lawsuit. I sued my old company. I'm not going to name the company. And I, uh, I won a, I, I won a significant you know, money. So when I got that money after paying all my bills and making everything is, you know, 
whatnot. I uh, I found a I found a seller, and I was all like, "How much do you want for your Batman?" And then people are gonna say it's crazy. I think he wanted six hundred. It was either six or four hundred. I hope it was four because I, I can't forget. But like, if it was six hundred, that's a lot of money. It's not worth it. But at the time, since I had that extra income and I've never had that money before, I told myself, you know what? I'm going to get my grill figure. Um, it's a one-time figure. I won't ever spend that much money on a figure like that because it's not worth it. I'll be honest. It's not worth spending for the 600 for this guy. But since I had the extra money and I've never sp spoiled myself like that, I told myself, you know what? I deserve this one, this one time, this one treat after going through all that BS. And I got this figure. And yeah, to this day, he's my favorite Mezco of all time. Nothing will change that. And like I said, say what you want about the film. This is just a kick ass figure. This guy is amazing. It's beautiful. It's nice. And I made sure it was real because I know there are knockoffs. So everyone's like, oh, like, what if it's not? I made sure of it. <laughs> but, yeah, no, this guy is amazing, and he just looks beautiful. It's like a little miniature Hot Toys with that head. But, yeah, at number two, which this guy was almost number one, uh, but there's one figure that just beats it. Just beats it a little bit. So let's get into that. And at number one, we have, I forget the company's, oh, no, it's Limb Toys, yeah. Limbs Toys, Ahab, or Venom Snake. This is Venom Snake. Now, you might be asking why this figure, why is it your favorite, all that. This guy's my favorite because um, this was the very first big thing my wife got me when we were first dating. So, and I am a big fan of Metal Gear Solid. I love Metal Gear. It's one of my favorite game franchises of all time. And when they were making this figure, I remember at the time I was telling, when my wife was my girlfriend, at the time I remember telling her like, oh, I really want to get this figure, but I don't really have the funds right now. And this is when we were first, like, I don't know, dating. Like we were like maybe couple weeks dating or something like that and i was like oh yeah i don't have the funds right now you know i gotta pay bills i said maybe one day i'll get this figure i don't know down the lane get and then one day she just you know she bought it and she's all like hey like i bought you this figure and i was like you spent how much and you got what because she got me the deluxe one i was like why and she's like you know it just she's like i just wanted to get you something nice and you always talk about metal gear solid and she's like i just wanted to get you something so yeah, be, you know, besides the sentimental and what my wife did and all that jazz, um, this guy is also really fun. Like, he really posed. I like how this is all bent. But he poses really well. You can move around. I love all his straps. I love the extra heads. Come with different hands. Like, everything about this figure is amazing. I would love for Limb Toys to do more Metal Gear st stuff that would be nice but overall this is a really fun figure and i love venom snake even though he's not big boss and he's not snake he's ahab but yeah no i like this figure a lot i think he's amazing he does look like big boss because i don't have the piece sticking out um but yeah no um this is my favorite figure of all time and, and nothing will change that and his hands popping off he said no more but nothing will change that. This will always be my favorite figure of all time. This will always be the main figure. Not, this, I, nothing will change that. Besides the sentimental value on this guy and what this guy means to me um, and what my wife did for me at the time and how she got, gave it to me and what she said, just besides those memories, it's... Uh, Snake has always been one of my favorite characters of all time. Even this, even though this is not Solid Snake and this is not 
the main big boss. This is Phantom Pain was always was one of those was a really good game. I really liked it at the time. It was really fun. And it's a banger figure. It's an amazing figure. I, I love this guy a lot. And the face sculpt is amazing. It looks beautiful. And then like I said, all the straps and why not? I would say I, I know that, I know you can still get this guy. If you haven't got this guy and you've been on the fence, I'd say he's worth every penny. And I'm not just saying that because sentimental or the memories of getting this guy. I honestly think he's a a really good figure and I really like him a lot. But yeah, that is number one. So yeah, those are my top tens. These guys are my favorite figures of all time. Great figures. Honestly, really fun. But yeah, if you stayed this long and watched the whole video, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Like always, this is my opinion. These are my top 10 figure uh, favorite figures of all time. Thanks for watching and listening to me, <laughs> like always. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And always, I'll catch you guys next time. And peace, guys.